Spring watch. Hello everybody, I'm so early, this is my world, and as you can tell, I am in a city centre, which is lovely, lovely for doing a vlog on, but it is quite, quite necessary, because today I'm doing a vlog about this road that I'm on, as you can see it's the A57M, Mancunian Way, and that is why I'm talking about it, it's one of two reasons that the A57 is in the news at the minute, minute I speed up, they speed up. All I want to do is find a space to pull in so this part who's behind me can do his 50 miles an hour again. There we go. Yes, it's in the news because of the speed limit, or at least this part of the A57 is. Because until very recently it was 50 miles an hour down here. But the local authority decided that over the last three years there have been too many accidents and they need to put a new speed limit in force. 29 in three years, which actually does seem like quite a bit when you start to break it down. It's very nearly one a month. But they've decided that lowering the speed limit has a good chance of reducing the number of accidents. Now I've looked at the TFGM website because they have a map that shows where the accidents have happened. It doesn't include 2022 data yet, obviously, but the vast majority of accidents seem to have happened at junctions. Not the main part of the carriageway as we're at now, but junctions. And I suspect if it's at junctions then the speed limit itself isn't the issue. But the junctions themselves are quite small, as you can see. This Mini's come up here, going slower than the speed limit, which is nice, on a slip road that becomes a lane. And then just down here, not far now, this lane goes back to being a slip road. This is actually one of the longer junctions. The previous one was actually a lot shorter. Um, and it seems that most of the accidents being caused or happening at those junctions are because people are switching between lanes and they're doing it quite badly. Not really sure what that's got to do with the speed limit, but uh, there you go. I guess the theory is that if they're going slower there's more time to merge between lanes. Maybe. It would help if people could drive. Some of the accidents afterwards, people have been arrested for suspicion of drink driving. Maybe they were breaking the speed limit as well. Now at this point here, the speed limit actually previously went from 50 down to 40. And one of the major accidents that's being reported in relation to this speed limit being reduced is one that happened in January this year. and it was the only one in the 29 that had a fatality and it didn't happen on that 50 mile an hour stretch it actually happened around here at this bridge apparently a white mercedes at near midnight traveling around this bend lost control and hit a bridge that's as best as i can work out the fatality was the passenger in the car so i can't say that they did anything wrong just unfortunate from their point of view And I rather suspect that that accident was caused by them continuing at 50 into the 40 zone. It's, it's speculation on my part. But I wouldn't mind betting that's true because I saw it happen all the time. There are very much two issues. I think that slightly annoy me. One is that now that they've reduced it to 30, you're going to have people going along there who genuinely are sticking to the speed limit, 30 miles an hour. You're going to have those that are going to stick to the old speed limit because 30 is too slow. 
granted technically that is now breaking the speed limit but I mean that's the point and then there are those who were quite happy to do 70 down there in the first place screw the speed limit I think previously the majority of people were quite happy with 50 but uh, yeah now you've got that subdivided into those who are happy to go down to 30 and those who are going to continue at 50 and so you've got three different sets of people driving at three different speeds on that road which leads into the point two and this is I mean this really does annoy me the, the way this is been reported if nothing else but it certainly seems to be the way the local authority is behaving is that and I'll admit I'm paraphrasing a little bit they were asked how it was going to be enforced how the speed limit was going to be enforced because there's no speed cameras up and there's nowhere for a police van to pull up you know one of those speed camera vans nowhere for them to pull up on that road how is it going to be enforced and the local authority having given this due consideration and obviously having spoken to the appropriate people said that's the job for the police I think I would be more accepting of the drop in speed limit, more accepting, not accepting, but more accepting of the new speed limit, if they had said, well, we've spoken to the police and we're going to put these schemes in place, or, the, you know, they've said we can do this and we can do that, and that's how it's going to work, or that's how we aim to work it, and we'll judge it, and so on and so forth. But no. On top of this, they've said it's an 18-month trial. Now, anyone who knows anything about trials from local authorities and government may, will know this is not a trial. It's a trial in so much as, yeah, it's temporarily for 18 months until they completely clarify it. Thank you. But at the end of it, can you imagine what they're going to say? Yeah, it hasn't really affected anything, so uh, we're going to put it back up to 50. Not going to happen, is it? Let's be honest. They're going to keep it at 30, so it's not really a trial. I would be amazed if it goes back up to 50, I really would. Clapping, I'll grant you, but amazed. But this isn't the only reason the A57 has been in the news. Um, there's also a section more commonly known as Snake Pass over the Pennines, uh, which has been closed for roadworks and improvements, which is nice. And it seems that uh, initially a small number of cyclists, I'll go on you, but a number of cyclists have decided that because the road is closed, it is now safe for them to go cycling on. That's very nice of him, held back. So yeah, these cyclists, and it's been a growing number, have been using it as a, their own personal exercise track. And obviously because of the growing number, the local authority there have had to say, no, 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 listen, the road's closed, you're not allowed. And so they've, they've now asked for permission to use it as an exercise track. I'm very much at this point on the side of it's closed. I may sound like a former president of the United States here. I mean, there are good people on both sides of the debate. But honestly, the majority of cyclists do not do themselves any favours. They really don't. Since I've become a motorcyclist, I have joined the number of people who hate cyclists. I used to be a cyclist, I was one for 20 years. And as I say, there are some good cyclists out there. 
the vast majority are complete knobs. I had one of them say to me the other day um, that if it doesn't concern me, then I should keep my nose out on this very subject. And I said to him, well, OK, so if I take my motorcycle up there and ride it up and down, that's no problem, right? I mean, it's safe for me to motorcycle up there because there's no other traffic. I'm not sure I can repeat the response. <sighs> yeah, I've I've grown to hate cyclists, so I'm really not bothered if you can't cycle along Snake Pass while it is closed. There's there's a hint there somewhere. I'm I'm sure there is. Love to be able to ride down Snake Pass unimpeded. Partially because I'm not very good at it. I'm not a particularly swift rider, as you know. I think I'm relatively safe, though. Anyway, any of you have any thoughts on this subject? Or subjects, I should say. Hopefully when Snake Pass reopens, it won't be full of average speed cameras. Um, which way am I going? Actually, I want to go this way, I think. Yeah. Don't normally go this way, but we're going to. Police station there is the headquarters for Greater Manchester Police. Uh, you know where it is. Anyway, yes, so any thoughts, leave them in the comments section. As per usual, appreciate them. As so long as they are polite. It's a bit of a nothing video, I'm sorry. Um, I've got a tour coming up. I do. Be in a few weeks' time, though. Actually, got to go on it first. Um. This boot is open. Odd. Anyway, until the next video, be good humans, ta-ta for now. Damn it. I mean, she's crossing in a terrible place to cross, but...